Hello. Have, have you got your can of pop? pop. <laughs> Is he pop? Ready? Ready? Mm. Get a drink and some snacks. I know. So, I'm Heather. And I'm Nikki. And we are Woolly, Woolly Elephant. Elephant. It's been eight months. Forever. Eight months. Uh, trying to podcast over lockdown was just a nightmare. Uh, we did do one eight months ago when I was, I was just looking back. Yeah. Uh, we said we'd try and get this now back up and running then and we were going to start putting little tutorials on and mm. all sorts of things and then life happened again and then at work i've started filming tutorials there shortly after that so i think i put my first one on here i did a little foam cube i uploaded it put it on work saw it and said can we have it and will you do it for us <laughs> so that means i haven't really had the time for doing it uh, on here sorry if you keep getting a little bit of glare because it's what time is it now it's five past seven in the evening uh try and keep my glasses out of that glare and um it's quite dark yeah it's quite dark in here so we've got all the lamps on all around us uh trying not to get glare it's like i'm in a film studio yeah it is like we're in a film studio because <laughs> there's that many there's lamp over there lamp here so we're back we're going to hopefully try and do this every other week yes uh, it's going to be a little bit different yeah it'll be different from when we did it last time where we were all basically just concentrated on knitting knitting and it was just knitting, knitting and crochet, crochet really whereas now like like we said before things change yeah and people do different we're doing different things now we're yeah. still doing knitting and crochet we're still doing plenty of knitting uh, we've got quite a few knitting projects and crochet projects to show you but there's now going to be uh, more sewing. I think we've said this be before, but it's yeah. been quite a while now, so there is going to be more sewing. Mm -hmm. We are, we do have a an affiliate. It's who I work for full time, and who Nikki is now teaching with as well. Mm -hmm. So we are affiliated with Always Knitting and Sewing. It's a big, it's a small family business that sells sewing products and knitting products uh, online. It's really, really popular. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's always worth checking them out and, we'll, look. and we will mention them a couple of times because obviously things i'm making i'm making for to do for tutorials and to show us samples at work mm. you might be watching and you've seen me on the material girls because we do facebook lives uh nikki's just been on on one yeah, introducing her as as a new tutor uh, teaching knitting now. In, the, in the vip we have a vip group yeah so we're teachers in the vip group so we got they got us both. They got, got us both. both. <laughs> they got us both. So we're working from both angles for ourselves and and for there as well. Yeah. So, without further ado, we'll, we get started? we'll jump in. We'll, so you tell what order are we going to do things in? So we'll do finished objects first because we've we've. Been I finished a, a product. I actually finished something last night. I, I, so we because it's been a while. Yeah. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen these, but. You might not, so here I'll show. Not you everybody here. has Instagram. Yeah, and then we'll do works in progress. Yeah, and then we'll show any acquisitions or future plans that we've got, and then we'll probably do some waffling at the end. Yeah, some general chit chat at the end. Uh, so we hope you stick with us. Yes, hope you stick with us for that. So, I think you should start. I should start. I think you should start. Okay, I'll go with the bright number first. So I. Last year, I decided I was going to start knitting this Harry Potter jumper. Let me just fold the band down at the bottom. It's gorgeous. And this is from the Tannis Knits Harry Potter Wizarding World knitting book. And in the book, it's in navy. It's in the blue and gold. I think colour. the book's up there. Is it? I think it's up on. Do you want me to hold it up? You go and look on the shelf. Have a quick look on the shelf. I think we've actually got. I've got that book as well. You bought it, me, didn't you? I think so. For Christmas. So it's got all these little. I'll try and not dip it in my uh, her nudge nudge pop. <laughs> <laughs> so it's got all these little uh, characters on, like a hat, which the sorting hat, that isn't it? That I think that yeah, looks that's... like a bat, but it's a snitch. It's a snitch, but it looks like a bat. Yeah. And then is that a cat? That's a cat. Mrs. Norris. Mrs. Norris. What's the clue? house cup? That yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Harry Potter's glasses and a cauldron at the bottom. And you've got the lightning bolts on his hands. Oh, on the on the cops. Oh, 
don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more from us and please comment underneath if you're a past viewer yeah that's been watching us we started this five years ago it just popped up on my thing today it started we started five years ago we've had a two-year pretty much gap but five years ago, so it'd be nice to hear from world. people <laughs> that uh, that used to watch us all the time, or for anybody that watches watches me on the Material Girls through all of it. And so it'd be nice to say hello down below. So that's what it looks like in the book. Not that it's focusing, but I I don't. No, oh, no. Let's see if I can. I've had to change my settings so it doesn't flash in and out. Can we see that? Yeah, it's, it's, it's fixed focus to us, you see. Ah, right, okay. Uh, otherwise, it can because we're filming on the. Is this the front camera? It mm -hmm. can flash in and out. So that's the book. Everyone will have seen it, whether yeah. you like Harry Potter or not. And there's two crochet. There's another Harry Potter knitting book, I think. Yeah. And there's two crochet ones as well. Yeah, since since that one. And I'm dead excited because the lady who did this book actually commented on me. The post on Instagram. Oh, isn't it just, it's <laughs> so nice when you post something on Instagram or yeah. Facebook and the actual designer comments of whatever it is uh, comments or likes, especially when they comment, it's really nice because mm. it feels a bit, it feels like they, they actually are interested in. Yeah. And you appreciate that you're doing their patterns. Their products, yeah. yeah. So, and it looks fabulous. You've had so many nice comments. So what was it knitted in? This is knitted in, it's all in double knitting. The black is Stylecraft. The, the, the multicolour is a self-shading yarn can't tell you what it's called can't remember um but it didn't take a lot you bought it in the big box didn't you, you got the multi-box i got it from goodbye knit something like that i think the next video but one to this one not mm. the last one the previous uh well, the one previous I one there's a, there's a picture yeah of you by yourself and you're wearing a crochet cardigan yeah and i was i'd ordered a big order yeah and the yarn for that was was from there and it was in this goodbye yarns i think it's called um but yeah, I love it. I've still got quite a bit left, which I'm actually using for another project, um, which I'll show you later. Well, I, I knitted the body in like three seconds because <laughs> I loved it. I left it all the all the floats. Yeah, do you want to have a look at the back? You know, so you can see how neat it is. <clears throat> it does look really good. Um, but then it stayed on Sleeve Island uh, <laughs> for uh, till I think it was February. I decided that I needed to get them done, so then I knitted the arms in basically a week. Well, no, I'm lying. I started them on DPNs, and I don't like using DPNs. I'm a magic leap kind of girl. I can knit a lot, uh, knit, knit mm. a lot faster. So I had to. I couldn't find my four mil, the circular. So I had to order some more. But I did it. Yeah, and it looks great. You can't really tell much difference. So yes, that's that. My bright and luminous. See me coming on the moon. So has anybody else knitted anything else about Harry Buffett Potter book? The next thing I want to knit is the the big long scarf. It's got nine and three quarters I and the night bus and the broomsticks. So I want There's, to do that. There nice. was a podcast. Uh, what was she called? That um. There's a podcast I follow. I've not watched it for quite some time, and, and she knitted that, and it looked it looked great with the bus and things like that. Mm. Anyway, finished product. I finished one last night. Knitted these relatively quick. These these socks. These she's lying. These huge. <laughs> What do you mean, like? <laughs> they take forever. <laughs> they didn't take forever. They didn't actually take forever at all. No, she's like, she just, she just complains too. I'm just a drama queen. Just, these are for Nicola's husband for his birthday. I, for Christmas, made Nicola socks and I made my mum socks. And when they sat opening the presents, you know, he was, I think he was open, he was going to get some. And I gave him a present and he unwrapped it and I'd made him, I hadn't knitted him socks, never thought to knit him socks, to be fair. Made him, um, I think it was a wash bag for them for when they go away. Yeah. Uh, to, uh, put his, you know, his stuff in, and, and it, he looks. He, he got he got the present, and it was squishing. He went, "Oh God, I know what's going to be in this," yes. and, and it, it wasn't, wasn't socks. He was gutted. He was he was gutted. Yeah, he looked very disappointed. So I've knitted him some for his birthday. So I finished last night. They didn't. It's what it looks a bit as longer as they are when it's not on the sock blocker. They've not been obviously washed and blocked yet, so you can still see the line down the side. This is I knitted Magic Loop on um, Addies, I think on my Addies. Uh, circular needles, 2.5 mil. I knit them on. Just a standard top down sock with a heel flap and gusset and a rounded, is it a flat? No, a flat toe. I think it's a flat toe. 
because uh, he's got giant feet. Giant Nicky feet. don't like knitting them for him, but it didn't bother me. This is knitted in, I bought this ages ago, Stranded Dye Works. Uh, Kingfisher, Industrial Kingfisher. I don't know if you've seen her on Instagram. Stranded Dye Works, uh, Jude Harper, I think she goes by now. He goes by now. Let me get it right. Uh, and I love this. I bet I was trying to get this yarn for ages and ages, but it was never in stock anyway. I managed eventually to get two, and I was going to make myself something for them, with them. Anyway, never happened. I haven't. I was going to do a show, but it never happened. And I thought, if I'm knitting for a bloke, I've got two. He's he's got big feet. In case I needed another one, so but there's another there's another one left now. I didn't need to use the second one, so I can do That's them. Good. I can do them for me. So there we go. Uh, that was a seventy two stitch cast on. And how long did you say it were? Nine nine inches. Nine inches, and then then his toe. So I hope they fit him. If they don't, he'll wear them anyway. I'm sure, and the heel will be under his foot, but he'll wear them. He'll wear them. He'll wear them out. He's worn all the ones I've knitted him out and he's been asking for more and I've been knitting the same pair for him for about a year <laughs> so I was like hmm <laughs> but now I'm going to be teaching I said to him um, you'll probably end up with socks at some point well at least she's going to be teaching a, a, a knit along aren't you so for socks yeah there's a project a tutorial for socks and I put a vote out for the uh, what yarn to use, and the girliest one won. So he isn't going to be getting those <laughs> no, ones. So he's not going to be getting. He's not those going to socks. be getting those ones unless he wants to wear pink and purple socks. So if you want to learn how to knit socks, we will post below how you might be able to do that in the in the near future with with Nicola. Yeah, well, my hands anyway, <laughs> <laughs> and her voice. And my voice. Yeah. You don't really see our face. No. So you're next. Uh, my next finished project is this cardigan that i crocheted and i basically lived it i'm not even joking it's she has she wears it all the time i wear it all the time it's done in this gray was what my nanny gave me i think it was i want to say king cole yarn it's got like a tweed in it and um it was chunky now this pattern is an iron pattern but it's chunky actually i think it was um it was a stylecraft uh life might have been Stylecraft Life Chunky, that. Because mm -hmm. if it's one, it's probably one she bought from me back way back when. Yeah, she had loads where she was making herself a jumper, but she didn't like it because it was too chunky for her hands. Yeah. Um, but it worked really well for this project. Yeah, I'll put it down now. My hands aching. Um, and it was an Aaron weight yarn. It was a free pattern I found. I can't remember the lady's name, and I've not got it with me. So... I'll, you can add the link. I'll add it on later, but it's a free pattern. It's one of those patterns where you can have it for free and then you can buy it um, later if you want without all the adverts in it and stuff. Yeah, because when you go on, is it like when you go onto a blog? Yeah, it's like off a blog. When you go yeah. on a blog and there's all them adverts that you have to put up with in between, but it's a price you pay for a free pattern. And this, the the purple is actually Aaron, Aaron weight, but it works pretty well. I, I just wanted a project that I could use. Well, I didn't have to spend any money, and I didn't have to spend any money. And when she'd finished it, I said, when are you making me one? And I'm currently making mum one. <laughs> it's at home with um, half a row done, so I was like, I, I can't take it with half a row done. Um, I could have sat and done it, but I didn't. And it, in the pattern, she has pockets. I didn't want pockets. I want pockets. Whereas mum wants pockets. I like pockets. So when, So hopefully, maybe not the next podcast, maybe the podcast after, I'll have it finished. Um, yeah, because you've done quite a lot, haven't you? Yeah, I've done the back and I've done the fronts. Um, I've just got to do the sleeves and then it's the sewing up and then the bands. Yeah, and hopefully we'll post underneath in the... In the... In the is it the comments? It's not in the comments, the is description it? box. In the description box. In the, in the description box down there, all the links to anything anything relevant. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I'll try I'll try to remember where it's from. But I found... I just put in Pinterest... Uh, crochet cardigans or jumpers or sweaters because usually americans call jumpers sweaters and uh this came up and i was like yes that'll do easy peasy don't have to think about it six and a half mil hook basically does itself it's great. well you were using the, you were doing them at work a lot as well weren't you in the evenings no not that no, one not that one no i did all that at home it's just basically all i did i ignored the house i ignored the children didn't really didn't, didn't, isn't, isn't that being a crafter in general ignoring the children. that ignoring the house i ignored the housework um, but my young, my eldest, he had COVID, 
um, at some point. So I did get a lot of crafting done then, basically just sitting with him. So. And can you believe the youngest one, the one, the, the one she was pregnant through and had the baby, uh, and we have the new baby on the video, Joseph, he's not one since turned four. Start school and start year. school this year. Oh, flipping heck it. How time flies. That just shows how long we've, uh, been doing it. we've been doing this. Right, so I have no more finished knitting projects, but I have got knitting projects to show. That I've nearly finished. Well, this one I've nearly finished. So this one, this was knitted in a Stylecraft charm, it's called. It's more like a lace weight yarn. And it was shaded. We had this in. Do you want to pull it out? We had this in. Uh, I haven't got the pattern with. Well, I have got the pattern, but it's on my phone, so I can't show you. Yeah, because we're using the phone to record on. Uh, yeah. So this is. It was just a plain. There was no cabling in it. This was a plain uh, jumper, or uh, what do they call them? A vest yeah. or a tank top. tank top. We call it tank top. I think in the states they call it a vest. Right. Uh, so, but I get very bored just knitting plain stocking stitch. So I thought I'd add in a cable. It's a lace weight and it's got a touch of mohair in it. Whether I'll be able to wear it, I don't know, because it tickles tickles me nose. But I just loved it. It was one of those I saw, and I just loved the colour. So if you liked it, it's Stylecraft Charm. I can't remember the uh, I can't remember the colour. Anyway, I've nearly finished it. It's I'm just doing the the tank top. Can't get my words. You're doing the shaping bit now. So I've done, yeah, I've done the, the main front. I'm just coming up one side, one side of the neck. I'm knitting this on my uh, Knit Pro uh, Symphonies. What size are they? They are. It's Considering it's only a lace weight yarn, I think these are four or four and a half mil. Yeah, because it's quite drapey. Yeah, it's you, you don't, you think it's going to be on two millimetre needles knitting it that far, but you're not. not I think these are four. They look like four and a half millimetre. It's worn off. That's the only downside of symphony needles. They print it on and it wears off practically the first time you use it. But the fabulous needles. They're great needles. I don't know if they've improved on that since I had these because these no. were from a set that I got several years ago the, the, for Christmas. The pair I ordered to finish this my Harry Potter jumper, the symphonies. So when you've got the symphonies, you just need a needle sizer. Uh, a wooden needle sizer, a plastic needle sizer, they have the holes in and the numbers next to them, you just pop oh, them in. Check the cable, because sometimes they print on the cable. They're not fixed. These are, they're they're interchange they're interchange interchange these are interchangeable, so you can take the needles off and change them. But they, to me, look like four and a half mil. Yeah. Either four and a half or five. Uh, I can't remember. But you, So you're knitting it on quite quite big, big needles. So, like I say, I'm doing just going at one side of the V, so... I'm hoping it won't be too much longer before I finish that. I could wear a white shirt. I'm thinking a white blouse or something. That'd be really nice. Underneath to make or a black blouse to make it make it stand out. But that's just basically two big rectangles. I just added in the cable for interest. Yeah. Well, to keep me in to keep me interested. You interested? It looks very nice, it's plain, because Deb at work she knitted one in like a in the burgundy type colours. And she just knitted it as it was and knitted the jumper. And it looks really nice just playing. It's just, I just get bored. Short attention span and all that. So it's been put down for a while because it was getting up my nose yeah. a bit with the mohair and short attention span and all that. Needed to move on and I remember start I something else. Started something. Um, I think it was the Elton by Hoagie Locatelli or... Mm. I can't remember. I think that's the name. Yeah. And that you hold for uh, one strand of four ply with one strand of mohair. I think I did about that much. Yeah. And I couldn't do it anymore. Because you can either do mohair or you can't. It's, I can feel it tickling my nose. <laughs> feel it tickling my nose now. So. So, my, me project. Yeah. Um, I started one yesterday. Not this. Um, I got a sample from Always Knitting and Sewing. I got this uh, James Brett flutter bar yarn. It's like a chenille. Yeah, it's really it's soft. soft. So I started great with... for your baby knitting. So I started just doing a, a baby cardigan. It's just a really simple one. It's just stocking stitch. What's the pattern number? It is. Yeah, James C Brett JB one seven two. It's chunky pattern. It's designed for this wool yarn. Um, I'm doing the first size, which is. To fit chest 14, but it'll actually fit a size 18 inch chest. Like a newborn, really. Yeah. Puddles me. Mm. So I, I did this. Well, it's a jacket to go over the clothes, isn't yeah. it? So I did the first 
side from in about half an hour. Yeah. It's like <laughs> a five minute knit, isn't it, these? Yeah. It's on six mil. You start you do you start off on five mil and then go to six mil. Stick it in front of my face, it might pick it up. And, and then I've done I'm on the other side, I'm just ready to do the shaping. That works. Stick it in front of your face and then it, it focuses. <laughs> then it can't see your face. <laughs> I, I've um so I'll I'll probably have this cardigan done for next time. It's really soft. And it's it's really nice, it's really soft and squishy. And I should be able to get a whole get the whole cardigan out of one ball. It says I only need one. What are you knitting it on? Six mil. Bamboo. Yeah, I'm on bamboo straight needles. It's all done on in pieces and then you sew it all up together at the end. This wool, I bet it works better on bamboo, doesn't it? Because it's a bit stickier. Yeah. Right, wood. The, the, the wool's slippy and the wood's sticky. It's sticky, so it's a lot easier. Whereas on like, it's like resistant. The, the cheaper, the cheaper. These are the pony ones, I think. Yeah, they're slightly. Yeah, they're, they're a bit more The symphony ones, these symphony wood ones are a, are a bit slippier. Yeah. Whereas these are a bit stickier. So if you've got a slippy wool. You want to do it on on bamboos. Bamboo. They're, they're, they're a bit stickier, and if you've got a sticky wool, do it on metal. Do it on your metal needles so that it moves easier. I, I cast on on the five mil. I use a metal. You can't half tell difference. Yeah, because they just keep they drop off. You need you're more likely to keep dropping stitches. Unless you really it's a want bit too to slippy. rapid fast, and you never drop your stitches. Do it on metal because it'll yeah. fly. But no, I, I do it on the the wood ones. Yeah. I don't right. know what I was going to say then, but there you go. <laughs> I, um, I've i already knitted a jumper in this colour. I can't remember if I mentioned it in the past. I might have, it might have done. I knitted a, a big green jumper and the sleeves were different, like in a stripy wool. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and it had stars, it, it, like a moss stitch stars yeah. in it. Like the anyway, it, I didn't do a tension square. Naughty me, didn't do a tension square. I, pra I don't practice what I preach very often. Does everybody do a tension square? <laughs> People do, yes. Sam, if Sam watches, she's done a tension square before she started knitting me what you're knitting. Excellent. I shall be doing which a tension is, square. Which is, which, I don't which, need is, to. which is good. <laughs> but I've, my tension's changed a lot recently. It used to be bob on what it said on the pattern, whereas now my tension's got a lot looser. So um, things are coming out quite a bit bigger. And it, it took a while of knitting things too big before it, it, clicked, do, it clicked to... To actually check my tension, start checking my tension again, because I never needed to check it before. Anyway, I had knit it previously, so I've unpicked, unwound. After, I've never really done that before. I've pulled it, I've pulled it undone. You frogged it. But I really like, that's it, frogged it. I haven't knit, I really like this colour. Yes. So I thought I'm going to knit another jumper with it. This is Bellissima by Stylecraft, double knitting. Getting... Bought this from the aforementioned Always Knitting and Sewing, where I work. It's so tempting, you know. Yeah, you just walk in. It's like, oh, oh candy so work there. I don't have, I don't get you know, how much of my wages. I don't spend quite as much as I did since doing the tutorials, but um, it's like the new stuff comes in all the time and it's just like, what? I want that, and I want that, and I want that. And then being a knitter, there's, we've just had all this a lot of King Cole wool come in, where we've had style, all the style craft and stuff before, and then all the new fabrics that are coming in. Anyway, easily distracted. I want to do it all. Everything. Yeah, if I really, really want to do it, I'll make a tutorial, and then I can, just, then you I can, can get make it. it. I can make it. So, anyway, I unpicked it. I've had to buy a couple of extra balls. So hence I've got like a couple of nice new balls because I did the sleeves on the other jumper in a coordinating yarn and in this jumper I don't want to do them mm. in a coordinating yarn because it won't it won't look right. It's this pattern, so it? yeah, I'll just show it up first. So there's lots of interest in this. It's going to take me ages because all this is twist stitches. Uh, so there's there's loads of twist stitches going all the way across and then interspersed there's these little flower lacy bits so for so far up the jumper it's just got them dotted in here and there. i really have to pay attention to this i've had to pull it undone more than once uh so it's it's all squashed on there uh were possible if i'm knitting on straights it has to fit on 30 centimeter needles it doesn't matter how much i have to squash it on i don't like long needles they just get in the way I have started a lot knitting on circular I needles just say, i just do it on a circle well i needle. have but that's what my tension has got on circular needles is quite a lot Slacker, right? Um, I can't. Got the cable. I can't get. No, it's I just. It's the way you hold them and everything. I can't. I personally, with my hands and how my hands are, I can't get as tight a tension. 
I like knitting on them, but I do. I am having to knit smaller. So, but because of this pattern and all the twists and twists and turns, I wanted to get them on me. Yeah. On my straights. And these are Knit Pro Symphonies. Again, straight needles. These are 30 centimetres. I've got this cute penguin <laughs> stitch marker on. So that's it from the front and that's it from the back. And we'll show you a picture, a big picture of the pattern. Just stick your face behind here. Yeah. It's called Falling Blossom by Emma Vining. And it's from the Knitter issue 139. That my the way I, I decided on doing this was because I can never make a decision. I've got all these knitting magazines that I've collected for ages. And they always say, I'm going to knit this or I'm going to knit that. Shows the pattern better. Yeah, I'm going to knit this or that. And then, but I can't never settle on a pattern. So I just, there's a pile next to me on my bookcase. I just said, right. I've got, all this, I've got this double knit. I'm going to open the first magazine, pick up the first magazine. The first double knit, plain double knit pattern I come to in one colour. I'm going to do that. Fortunately, it was. I, I don't want to have to make a decision. Fortunately, it was that one, and I said, "Oh, I like that. That's mm -hmm. pretty." It's going to take me ages to do it, just because all the twists, and I have to pay attention. You can't really watch telly. You feel accomplished once it's done. But I'm looking forward to that being done, and because it's got a bit of a ribby texture as well, it will pull it in a bit, mm -hmm. so it won't shouldn't go baggy, shouldn't go baggy. Whereas the if I'd have known, if I'd have done the tension square, the jumper I'd done previously, which I really liked, I would have gone down about two sizes because it came out. It was obviously designed to be looser anyway, but it came out quite a bit bigger. Humongous. Yeah, and it just it felt like it was hanging out to roll the sleeves up. <laughs> I'll have to be a good girl and do a tension square for this You'll have one, to do it. If you're teaching it, you've got to do a tension square. Oh, well, that can be my homework for tonight then. Yeah. So that's that one. So I, I know some people, when they unwind... Um, they wash it first to get all the crinkly bits out. But I also find if you, if you wind it pretty tight in a bowl, if you wind it pretty tight in a bowl, that tends to pull the crinkles out pretty much as well. I think the way I hold my yarn as well, it kind of pulls stretches it, it out. Stretches well, it out. There's not much crinkle in that considering it's already no. been knitted. No, that's fine. Though. So that's that one. I did, I did a, a pair of socks or a shawl or something in a one that had been it was a sock blank and then they ripped it out and then it had all the crinkles in yeah 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 it's designed to be like that i got when i used to subscribe to um i can't remember what i knitted with that sock crate was it called sock crate mm. it was an um, an american subscription box knitting subscription box mm. yarn uh and you'd get a skein or two skeins of yarn for uh, knitting socks or whatever you wanted in sock wool and I remember getting there was like a lilac -y one that came that was dyed on a sock blank and undone and then wound and it was all crinkly so you got a bit of that crinkly texture That's cool. which was a bit different mm, can't remember what I did with it though that's going to annoy me <laughs> oh, oh well so next so my next project I've brought is I love this I started a mosaic blanket with scraps i'm all about using everything up at the moment uh using up what i've got look at that that is fabulous that so this is all in aaron all of it's aaron so they're all different brands like this mustard and greys from poundland this red is a style craft and this purple is a style craft cream and pink. this pink is also poundland uh, and it's all mosaic it's a crochet technique overlay crochet because if you look on the back it doesn't look the same on the back does it it's all just stripes and you cut the yarn after every single row and you follow patterns uh, a charted pattern uh, i'll get the pattern up so you can see what it's going to look like i absolutely love this technique but you can't do it while you're watching telly no no because you got to concentrate. I must hydrate. It's by T Tina. I can't say her last name. And then come back a bit. It's the Indiana. Is that uh, focusing? I don't think so. But if you just Google mosaic crochet, she's the lady that comes up, and she's she has a whole tutorial of how tutorial series on introducing you to do it where you do swatches it looks it looks back to front to us but it, it'll be the right way around to you because my camera flips so in her tutorial she shows you how to do this zigzag 
you do a cut, do this zigzag bit at the bottom mm. and she does it really well and she uh, when you get to the end of your project to do the border because you've got all these millions and squillions of thousands and billions and trillions of ends times a thousand because that's how many there'll be I have a project like that <laughs> and uh, you don't have to start or weave them in she teaches you how to do a double border so you can actually you, you tie them all you tie them together in groups and then crochet your border on and it's they all nestle in between so there's like no sewing involved it's amazing hey, this is the inside of my cardigan like that and uh, <laughs> and the inside of my cardigan's not, like that i don't think i'm gonna get that choice and uh so that i may need to get this done for christmas because i don't know who it's going to be for but someone will get it for christmas uh, and it's all going to be mismatched different colors because i'm just using up what i've got which is brilliant and it does use up a lot because it's it's crochet and i'm loving it talking of that just leads very nicely into millions and squillions of ends times thousand times a thousand and a million <laughs> This is, I started this, I can't, I can't make my mind up whether to finish this. Now, I can't find where I've put the pattern. This is a Serdar pattern. If I carry on with it, I'll show the pattern again. But this is one side because you're changing colours every two rows. There's about, how many colours are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six colours and it's in a chunky. So to carry six colours up in chunky up the side, it would yeah. be too thick so these are my ends just on one side of this and then there's so that's the back i finished the back and then there's there's down there's the two fronts with the fringes so there's obviously on the outside of that and then the sleeves will be exactly the same again with all that so i've done a good lot of it and i'm just trying to decide shall it be an added feature <laughs> shall i have a fringe shall i have a fringe <laughs> I have thought about. I'm, I'm I have thought about. Tell me what you think. Zigzagging it on my machine down all those loose ends, going over it with a zigzag and just cutting them off. I've thought about trying to line it maybe with jer doing that and then trying to line it with jersey. I could maybe trace the pattern. I've never done that. So if anybody has done that, could you tell me how to do it? I'm imagining that I would take my. It's back, lay it out on yeah. to some to, to some jersey and cut round it with a seam allowance. Yeah, with a bit of a seam allowance, and then just sew it together yeah. as you would, and then bag it out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Sew it in and bag it out. That's how I'm imagining I would do it because I thought about doing that. Just literally getting my getting it on my machine, running it down, and just zigzag sewing over all this lot because the thought of sewing this lot in just. It's making me not want to finish it. Yeah. I love the look, but I really don't want to. I have to, I haven't got the time. No. It never I just never thought about it. I just saw the pattern, liked it, wow. bought it, yeah. thought I'm gonna buy it. I really like the look of that. And then when I'm knitting it and having to cut the thread every And unless you sew it in at the moment you, you've, you've done, done it. it. But you can't because it's every two rows, you'd spend all your time so you've never been you'd never get anywhere knitting it so i thought about doing that so tell me what you think give me some advice i could do with some advice because i figure it rolls next time yeah <laughs> well that's what i thought if i was doing it again but it's not even like i could undo it and use it for something else no because it's cut at the end of every two rows so i can't use it for short of turning it into something else i can't use it for anything else so i really can't make my mind up so i, I tried the, the sewing with the jersey so I might try that, just zigzagging all that and then cutting it off. Tie them in knot, zigzag it, trim them off, and maybe line it. It'd be a new technique to learn because I haven't done... I'm not a dressmaker, but I, th I think I probably might be able to manage. Give it a go. Might be able to manage that. What do you think? It would be nice to know what people think. Because you'd have to do the pieces before you sew them all together. That's what you? I mean, yeah. You'd flatten it out, I would imagine, trace around it, like you would if I was going to make this shirt, if I wanted to make a shirt... To get your size that you know you're comfortable with. I find trouble finding sewing patterns when I make them to fit me right, and I don't under, I don't know anything really about no. about uh, altering. So my it was just I just thought like getting a shirt, one of the shirts that I really like, or I'm not wearing anymore. Take it apart, make a pattern from it, yeah. sew it back, to, sew it together. So I might do that anyway. Master plan. Master plan. That's the plan when I get some time to do it. So this was this was the wool. 
It was Hayfield, which is third out, bonus chunky tweed. I think I'm making some socks in that stuff. And I, it was there was six different colours. So I've still, even if I chose not to finish that, I've still got a bowl, a full bowl of each six colours left that I could make something, something else out of. I don't know. I don't know what to do yet. I've only got, I've done half a sleeve, I think. Half a sleeve, that much of a sleeve. So I've only technically got a sleeve and a half to go. So just like 50 people when I come and sew my rent. And then the bottom, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should I say, well, if, I, if you sew it, you can have it. Take it into work on your dinner break. Yeah. Everyone sew a, sew so a bit in. I know, Amanda, in. Amanda says I should bring it and do it on my dinner break. But by the time I finished eating my dinner, there's no time for that. She can do it. <laughs> So anyway, that's that one. I'll show one more before we, we, we do anything else. This is just a cast on a new pair of socks. It looks like a bit of a tangle, so you should see this growing. This is some uh, f some yarn I got forever and a day ago. Can't even. I think it might have been third volt yarns. And I thought I'll start that and that's going to be a sock for me. Not sure if there's more than one pair of knitting needles there. There are. There are. That's the ones I knitted Ben's on. So they're higher, higher. And these ones are Addy. So I am knitting Magic Loop, even though Magic Loop is not my preferred method. I like DPNs. We are total opposites. Total. But for carrying around, it's just sometimes it's just convenient. It is a convenient way, but not my preferred way in my fancy bag. Which there may be a tutorial coming for that in the future. Won't be on YouTube, it'll be okay. in the all in always knitting and sewing. I am. Uh... Although, for the sock tutorial, because the pattern I'll be using uses DPNs, so I'll be using DPNs. So, we're talking about the tutorials. Hang on. Wait. No. Stop. 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 I'm doing it. I brought another project. Oh, right. Yeah. So, there's not really a lot to see from what I've done, but I'm doing the Sybil Turtleneck by Hollywood Wood De Designs. So it's just... Hang on. How do we do it? How do we do it? Can you see? Can you see? I think getting close. Oh, there you can. If we're getting really get a little closer, it says on the screen. Find Thank a you. face. There we are. There's a face. There's a face. The get face a little closer. It. It's got it. It's it's nags, doesn't it? <laughs> it's because we're filming in portrait video style. So. Got a naggy phone. Yeah, to try and have it so it's because we had some videos in the past. It was a bit off putting because it kept focusing in constantly, focusing in and out. So. She does all her patterns are all crochet with granny squares, of, like that cardigan I did with all the granny squares and the black. That was one of her patterns, and so from the Harry Potter jumper, I said I had leftovers, but I like either the granny squares. You can see how different they look from the what yarn when it's been knitted to when it's been crocheted. It's just focusing when we get really close. So it's just I've done a whole bunch. I think for my size, I've got to do hundred and something. So it's not going to be a project that's done anytime soon. Um, I can I can do a square in three minutes. That's not bad. I can do in a square three minutes? in three minutes. Start start to stop because it's that simple. Yeah. And I'm not changing colours. Um, there must be steam smoke coming off your need off your hook. Because <laughs> I'll do them. Um, so I'll do a bunch. Because uh, I've got more at home. I just grabbed a handful, and I'm planning on using it. Another it's another project to use up what I've already got. I'm doing a crochet jumper that mum bought me the pattern for for my birthday no she bought me the wool for my birthday it's a retro flower i have shown it on the podcast before um, and i'm doing it in that bellissima stuff so the stuff that i've got left over from that is also going to go into this jumper it's just using everything up yeah getting to a bit of everything today All my next openings. next podcast probably won't take as long as this one just because it hasn't been a while Anyway, we were talking about the tutorials yes. that both myself and Nicola are going to be teaching. Are always knitting and sewing. Check them out online. We do a monthly VIP subscription that is normally, you get to see all the tutorials for that. So normally it would be uh, 7 99 a month. It was £12. It's recently, the price has been brought down. That's good. To 7 99 But a lot of the time, at the moment, there's like a voucher, I think, running. Um, if you contact them for a code, maybe there's a, there was a code for getting it at five ninety nine a month uh, or a year's price, twelve months price at a bit of a discount, which is a good idea at the moment when it, everything's uncertain. You don't know how much money you're going to have. Yeah. With all the fuel costs going up and everything. 
Yep. So to keep warm, you could be sitting, knitting watching and knitting and sewing classes. It's majority is sewing at the moment, but yep. gradually now Nikki's with us. Do more knitting. Get more knitting in. We've had a, a crochet tutor, tutor called Lisa. Getting she's got crochet tutorials on. Um, I've got loads of sewing tutorials, so I thought I'd show you a few. So this is. I never imagined that I'd be teaching sewing nope. i mean as you know i've been a knitter forever if you've been a regular viewer in the past not a sewer i was always anti-sewing well not anymore she really was anti-sewing i was very <laughs> anti-sewing um to the point nikki had my old sewing machine that had been sat unused for 20 years yep. anyway now i've got two sewing machines and an overlocker so this is one of the projects a double pouch project that i made and put on i love this use this to death this is in cork I'm not sewing it in cork on the on the video. This was the latest one, just simple, just simple glasses case. If you are a beginner, there's lots of beginner tutorials. We also do a subscription box, which is forty four ninety nine a month. If you like a subscription box and you like sewing, mm. well, alongside the the products that you get, you get a video filmed by yours truly. I think there's there's been one last month filmed by Chloe because it was patchwork. So, but it's mostly accessory products and up till now I've filmed all but one so this was a makeup roll with a pull-off pouch they're all my own patterns um, and we take you through step by step and I've had some brilliant feedback about how good my tutorials are how clear I explain all the tips that I give that's good uh, so I get a lot of good feedback about that so that's one of those this is another one I made this is another one in the same I've seen these done in so many different colours. They, 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 they keep popping up on the Facebook page, and there was, there's, there was, I like the one that was on a doctor's office that a doctor had made one and had, I think, like the stethoscope in it oh, and stuff great. like that, which, which was, was really good. We've seen all sorts <laughs> made, so that's just a couple. This was one of the most popular uh, classes I did. This was a subscription box. You get everything you need to make. The project. the project you get the products that you need to make the project in the in the in the big box the, the deluxe box which is 44.99 that includes postage that's once a month and then they do a mini box as well which is 24.99 i think you just get the fabrics and the thread whereas in the others you get everything that you need so you get the hardware and you get the interfacing and everything in the zips as well so it wasn't in this color fabric but this bag has been must have been the most popular most popular one it's just a slouchy canvas bag uh, with lining and I've seen so many of these made it's a great bag it's, it's great this is the one I made for myself it's made in canvas so as yeah. a subscriber you can just see as a box subscriber you can just see the box subscription videos if you are a VIP subscriber you can see everything Using all the, the videos book. including all the subscription ones this was the first this was the sample I made the first one I made and then I moved the zip down a bit and made the pocket a little bit shorter on the next ones. Oh, well, the, the size of the pocket. So it's great because you can fit a water bottle in. Made it so you could fit an actual water bottles yeah. in the front. A water bottle there, a brolly there. Because I, I sent her a picture, her mum had a picture yesterday when I, I was out. Out in the wild. Out in the wild. And I'm like, this bag's great for a water bottle. Because yeah. normally I use backpacks. Yeah. And I've always got to carry a water bottle. But actually we have easy access yeah. in a bag. It doesn't fall over. No, it's great. <laughs> so it's this is this is the new me. So there's a lot more sewing going on in my life. So if you are a sewist or you know someone that's a sewist, point them in the direction of our podcast. Yes. Um, but if you want to check out, if you like a subscription box, I love a subscription box. Even though know, I get the products to make yeah. the the product, I get the products to make the the actual video. I still look at those subscription boxes when they're made up. I want one. Even though it's crazy, like, it's revolved even, around your project. <laughs> yeah, even though I've done the project and I've just used all them products, I just love a subscription box because it's, like it's a present. it is it's like <laughs> a present to yourself every month. Anyway, so I'm currently uh, mm -hmm. in in the process of doing Aprils. They usually come out around the ninth of the month, so I'm in the process of doing Aprils, which is a hanging storage mm -hmm. uh, thing. Cool. So and the fa the fabrics for that are fab. So that's the end of that shamelessly plugging my workplace. Oh, I'm going to carry on because this pattern came in. I came in to visit. Yeah, this is just from the new King Cole yeah. stuff we've just had in. And I said to mum, I need a pattern where I don't have to think just straight. And 
we were looking and she showed this. I was like, oh, I like the look of that. This has been so popular. It's just, it's the King Cole pattern 5648. It's in double knitting. And it's knit from side to side. All in one piece type thing. Yeah, you start at one cuff. Yep. Start at one cuff and you knit across to the other cuff. And this is the yarn that's in the picture. This yep. bramble oh, yeah. mixed berries. So this is it. Um, we're waiting new stock should be arriving at this well, i say tomorrow but it's by the time I've, I've edited this it might have be already in that was the like a pale rainbow one that one and they had there was i couldn't decide whether i wanted this one which was in the pattern because these are like my favorite colors or there was one that had like teals and was it like gold yellow gold it was yellow. purple and purple, gold, purple and, gold and and and, and, and the burgundy and yeah stuff and it like was that. something like that i was like there's that yeah that's well. the color i liked yeah if yeah. i do it that's what i'm going to do it in but this is going to be a tutorial i'm going to go straight from the beginning right through to the end including how to sew it up um yeah so, so that's what i'll be doing yeah so <laughs> if, check it out and Come i'll be and a check good us girl out. and do attention square. so do attention square i'll do that tonight you teach don't need you, to see me yeah do that. teach you how to do it we'll tell you how to do it once you've knitted it tell you what you've done right. and how to do that and how to check your tension do i have a tension square i don't know but i have one does i have it's okay <laughs> <laughs> so i just think i've got one somewhere there but, will be hopefully a couple of tutorials coming free on YouTube here. We'll be trying to fit in yes. in between as well. This is one I was filming, but I, 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 it's a bit dark with it being in here. It's, the clocks change, don't they, this weekend? So I'm hoping yeah, I'm I might be doing. able to. Yeah, I might be able to um, film it with daylight because obviously I, during daylight I'm at work. So when I'm filming here, like now, I mean. Uh, we're in fake light. When I'm filming the tutorial, it's all right because the light is pointing down mm. at us. But like when I'm filming this now, it's trying not to get glare on the camera yeah, at the moment. And blinders at the same time. And blinders at the same time, yeah. So they are all slightly tilted away from us because if I bring it in, as you can see, that's the good light, but it's it gives you quite a lot of glare in the corner. So anyway, this is... Uh, I made a very simple for pouch can't think of the word pouch from a rotary cutter sometimes i forget to put the blade in mm. so at least if i put my hand in the drawer what can you do this is what can you do with a layer cake if you buy the layer cakes and you're sewing um, this is a 10 inch squares this is a moda from a moda layer cake and i've used three squares and the double-sided bosal foam mm -hmm. uh, the foam was provided by the lovely people at bosal excellent uh, for me to demonstrate so i thought i better get doing some of that yeah about the time i got uh, demonstrating it now i've found a little bit of time so i'm just going to i filmed it once but i'm going to refilm it again because i forgot to film me putting the binding on no oh. at the end and i obviously can't go back um i've unpicked it but it doesn't look as nice when you're filming so i'm just going to do it again, start again. i'm just going to start again and refilm it again so that should be coming really soon because it, it doesn't take me too long to film that so if you like doing little quick projects and you've got loads of layer cake squares or 10 inch squares and there you go so i think that's that's me me down are you not going to talk about oh Jane. no how can i do it well this is like a bit of rambling with yeah. life so recently i not last week week before i had a week i had a week off actually get holidays working at this place <laughs> i didn't really much before not so much anyway uh, so I was using up some of my holiday time and we decided to go to Norwich for a week. So anybody from Norwich? Hi, the Norfolk way. Yeah. We went into Norwich, um, stopped at the <laughs> stopped at the jewel shop and bought one, one of their padded gilets. I noticed that. Oh, very nice. The navy one I had on when you came in. And I liked it so much, wore it for a whole day that when we came back home, two full days I think I wore it for, it was that comfortable, we went to Harrogate. For a day and um, while we were in harrogate there was a jewel shop and because it was 25 percent off everything oh dear i bought two more yeah. so i have a nice bright red one and i have a, like a, a coffee colored one as well awesome but and then on the way back from harrogate we stopped at skipton because whenever we're near skipton or to. going that way we have to stop in at skipton and see jane mm. whether i go to buy anything or not i feel like i need to go in and say hello, hello yeah. to jane ellison from from pearl and jane because i've been knitting her patterns 
for years. She's my favourite designer by far. Mm. Uh, so I had to stop in. And I did buy some. Well, I feel like I can't not go in and buy something. <laughs> but I've been. She has this jumper on display in the shop, and has had it on display for quite some time. And every time I go in, I end up buying something different for a different top jumper, or I buy something else and. I keep saying I'm going to knit that. One of these days I'm going to come in and I'm going to knit. It's a very simple, just ribbed, like a ribby design with pockets in. But it looks so nice. See. It looks so nice on the mannequin. It's like tunic length. Yeah, and it? it's knitted in. It's knitted in wool. It's not knitted in. It's not knitted in. Uh, in acrylic. Jane only sells wool. You British, Couple UK British wool, I think, yeah. from British suppliers. And I've knitted before in this. West Yorkshire Spinners Blue Face Leicester Fleece. It's nice in, to knit with. That. In the natural colour. i you'll see me if you watch any of our videos back, I'm wearing a jumper in some of them in this colour and it's all cabled at the top. Mm -hmm. That's by Jane as well. And uh, it's knitted in this this yarn. So I says I'll have some more of that because it holds its shape so well. Um and you know when you're knitting wool like this, you don't have to wash it very often. Mm. And in fact, I haven't actually washed that jumper. Other than the first time, I haven't washed that jumper yet. That crochet cardigan I showed, that's got wool in it, and I've not washed it yet. Yeah, because it has natural antibacterial properties. Plus, if you don't, if you spill anything, it just rolls off. It rolls off. It beads off. Yeah. It doesn't get smelly. Mm -hmm. And unless you spill, get something Probably nasty smell. on it, and you need to clean it, it they very rarely need washing. So. Needless to say, I bought the wool to do this, so I can't wait. I'm looking forward to knitting that. I haven't cast on yet. Why? Because I've got them other projects and I was trying to decide. Do it immediately. I was trying to be good and trying to... I was going to finish my time. So I finished the socks, so I'm pleased I got them done. And then I was going to try and finish this. But even if I finish this, it's not going to be worn till next year. Mm -hmm. So I may cast this on by the time the next video comes. But I, oh, no, I fell on my needles. I, I, yeah, <laughs> I would recommend highly recommend Jane's shop, Pearl and Jane. I've done in a in, in Skipton. Nikki's done a few as well. Yeah, done socks, gloves, done scarves, hats, jumpers, all sorts. She's a brilliant designer. Go and check her out. I'm sure you've done the kids a few jumpers as well. I have. I've done the kids a couple of jumpers as well because I have a, a child's um, book, knitting book. Mm. With lots of different patterns in and they all they're all really good so so there we go if you watch jane your products i love your shop as you know so everybody go and visit jane in skipton if you're ever out that keep way keep her in business she's in uh mount pleasant she's in mount pleasant i think it's called it's like a little courtyard you go down the little side street near the pie shop with the award-winning pie shop there's a pie way. shop with award-winning pork pies you go down this little little ginnel alley and it opens out in, it's called mount pleasant and she's, she's in there and she's in there i can always remember it's mount pleasant because there was a program on the telly used to watch called, called mount, mount pleasant. pleasant yeah I was. and there's the canals just next to her shop so you can eat your pork pie yeah whilst, overlooking the canal over, while choosing your wool while choosing your wool yeah exactly and say hello to a dog while you're there well, because it's dead a dog. <laughs> so anyway so what have you got anything happened in your life I've started uh, studying a degree at home. I'm doing it in sociology and criminology with the intention of becoming a criminologist. Absolutely love it. Uh, it's working my brain and I forgot how much studying ties you out. Yeah, Actually, especially when you've got two kiddies. Because I, I do it when the kids are at school. Um, I'm doing it full time, but at home. But they still class me as part time. And I'm coming up to the end of finishing one module, which I'll finish in May, and then I'll just have the other module to do. And then in I start my next. So I'm doing introduction to social sciences and then introduction to criminology, two separate modules, and there's 60 credits each. So basically, to qualify for like a, I'm at level one. To pass level one, I need to do 120 credits. Yeah. So that, they class that as full time. Um, but from September, because the level of, from the next module in October, the, the level of study and the intensity will go up another notch. So I'm just going to do one module at a time. Um, but at this introductory level, I'm, I'm okay. And my marks are coming back pretty good. So my knitting and my crochet and my sewing and everything have all taken a back bench while I'm doing this degree. But that's not totally bad. You <laughs> Can you tell? Yeah. yeah. Can well, you tell? This is a back bench. This is a back bench. But normally I'd have 
a, a lot a lot more yeah. but i'm finding because i have to pen to paper i can't do i try to do notes on the computer it just doesn't work oh my gosh you, I thought I used those muscles knitting and crochet, and no, I do not. Mm. So while I'm writing with the pen, oh, my wrist is killing. Mm. So then I'll, I'll have been doing my notes for God knows how long, and then I'll come and do uh, a bit of crochet, or mainly crochet I've been doing at the moment. I'm picking knitting back up now, I'm teaching, so, you know, to get back into the rhythm of it. And I just, oh, it just hurts. Yeah. <laughs> I just, just can I just lop this arm off and have yeah. a bionic one put in? <laughs> My life revolves around going to work. I mean, I work in a fabulous place, so I'm dealing with fabric and yeah. wool all, all day long, all day, every day. And then I'm coming home and I'm invariably planning tutorials or filming tutorials or make, just making samples for the shop. I actually get to do what I love doing and get paid, paid. for doing it. Uh, uh, which I never thought after I closed down my shop that I'd get back into it in the way that I am. Mm. So it's great. So I'm loving it. And I'm just thinking, while we're sitting here, you brought your tablet case. So if you're bringing it again next week, we forgot about these. I made some tablet cases. What do you think of these? So if we carry that, Nikki had hers all in. Uh... I said, just pick out the fabrics that you like. I made it while she was here last time. So I got a little grow goo. Yeah, so how cute. <laughs> the, the fabrics so don't go together at all, but they look well cool Ooh, together. They're cool. They look well cool together. But that's the beauty of being able to yeah. sew. Like a, so, I don't do much. Yeah. much. <laughs> so this is, uh, that's mine. Mine was done in a William Morris. So there's a pocket in the back. So I did, I've done this one. I did yours. I've made it bigger with it, like a Robin fabric that's got my, my, um, my computer in, my laptop in. Yeah, that's in the living room, isn't it? Yeah, so I've made loads of these. Yeah, it's great. Because it's, it's really cool. So I've, really, I've got really into this sewing line. I've got all sorts like, all over my table. Yours has got the handle and the strap. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the pocket on the back. On the packet, which you didn't need, did I you? I didn't need. I just needed the... Yeah. I need Because it's, it's squishy. It's got, yeah. the, it's got the interface in it. It's got bosal foam. Because the, my backpack that I use, it's not very... It's not padded. So I was... I do. I've got my uni books on here to use, mm. um, so I can read it while I'm at work instead of carting around a heavy book. Um, and it's just yeah. that extra protection. It is. So if you've never used Bosal interface, and this is uh, fusible on one side, and it's um, it's great for things like this for putting mm. your 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 electronics in. And because I, I have dropped it once in this, I've dropped it in. That don't tell anybody. Time. Don't tell it anybody. <laughs> But I have dropped it once. I've took it to work and I was carrying it like that. And the only thing I then wished I'd done was put a, a crossbody strap on it. Yeah. Hey, it's buzzing. It's buzzing. It's buzzing. It's, it's somebody just texting buzzed. you. Bringing oh, tablet, it just buzzed at me. It's telling me off that, probably, because I You're said I dropped it. it. <laughs> telling the public. Right. So we've been... 57 minutes and 48 seconds. Maybe I think that's long enough to wrap it up. I would think so. If you've stuck with us. Thank you so much. Right till the end. Uh, thanks for, for watching. Mm. Uh, you can find us, obviously, on here. Yeah. There's all the back videos of us. There's lots of back videos of the Material Girls Live that we were putting on for. I was putting on for a while that I do at work with Chloe. Mm -hmm. If you want to do the other lady was. Um, she's a, another tutor on the... Oh, on the old, on the VIP club, mm. um, I'm Woolly Elephant Mum on I'm Instagram. Woolly Elephant Daughter on Instagram. Woolly Elephant Daughter on Instagram. Uh, try to be active on there. I've not been as active as I should be on there at the moment, but you're on there. I'm, I'm on there. I'm active. I oh. might not post every single yeah. day, but I post at least once a week. Yeah, and we have our Woolly Elephant Facebook page as well, yeah. where you can follow us on there. You can also find us. You can find me quite a lot on. The always knitting and sewing Facebook page, um, and I'm always floating acting. somewhere. Yeah, I'm somewhere. So <laughs> there you go. So Till next time. So I hope you enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to to comment down below. We're trying to get to the 500 subscribers. Yeah, that'd be awesome. We've only got a couple to go, so please subscribe um, and leave us a comment. And leave us a comment. Yeah, definitely leave us a comment. So until next time, bye. bye. <laughs>